Hi Girl Scouts! Molly here. I'm with Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline in Roanoke, Virginia. And today we are going to be working on together the Junior Flowers Badge, step number five, which is to tell a secret message with flowers. So I don't know if you know this, but all flowers have secret meanings um, and they symbolize different things. And so a great way to send a message to someone would be to make them an arrangement or a bouquet with flowers um, that means certain things so you can send them a message. And so today we are going to be making flower arrangements of our own um, and we're going to learn what the different flowers mean and so we can make a secret message. And I thought it would be really nice um, with school starting soon or starting um, back in a bit, um, you know, it's going to look a lot different and it's a really great time to send a message to someone who needs it. Maybe you want to um, send a message to your teacher or a school bus driver or someone who works at your school or maybe just to your parents because they had to probably help you with some virtual school. Maybe they're still helping you with virtual school or maybe they always homeschool you. Um, so just thinking of someone who you want to send a message to and say something to with flowers um, as we start back. Um, to school. So we are going to get started by learning some of the different meanings behind these flowers and then I'm going to show you how to put some together in an arrangement of your own. Okay, so I've got a handful of my greenery and my flowers and some of the messages that they convey. So we're going to go over this real fast first and then we're going to put together our flower code message. So up here we're going to start with some of our greenery, our herbs. We've got lavender, which is uh, represents calm. It's a beautiful one. Eucalyptus for growth. Rosemary for remembrance. Sage for wisdom. And then basil for good wishes. We've got cosmos here, which are beautiful, for harmony. Marigolds for creativity. Sunflowers for adoration, especially little bitty sunflowers like this. Black Eyed Susans for motivation, Zinnias for endurance, and then we've got a little bitty chamomile, it's an herb but also a flower, for luck, and dahlias which represent good taste, especially when it's just one dahlia. And so those are some of the ones we're working with. We might find a few others along the way. If you want to look up and find um, some more flowers to work with, Please do. There are lots and lots of good options out there for our message and flower code. All right, so now that I've learned all about what my flowers mean, I can start thinking about what message I want to send with them specifically and who I want to send it to. Um, so I'm going to get started and to make my flower arrangement, first thing I need is a vase of some sort, just some kind of container. This is just a mason jar, but if you have a fancier um, vase, use that, that would be great. Um, doesn't really matter, but you do want to put some water in it for your flowers. And then I've also got some garden shears so that I can trim the ends of my flower as I go along, because some of them might be too tall. Um, so I'm going to get started. And I think the flower I want to start with um, is my lavender, because lavender is calming. And so it's not technically a flower on this branch. I don't have any flowers, but it's a beautiful herb and greenery is always nice to include. Plus it smells great. Um, so I'm just gonna plop that in my vase to get started. And then I think what I wanna include next, first and foremost, is gonna be my marigolds, because marigolds, if you remember, symbolize creativity. And I think creativity is really important um, right about now. You know, things are a lot different than they usually are and we're kind of having to find new ways to do things. And so creativity is a good one. So it's, it might be a little tall to start. I might trim it in a minute, um, but we'll see. One thing I do want to do is take off the lower leaves, um, the greenery, anything that's going to be sitting in the water, you want to kind of strip off down to the stem um, just because it makes, makes for a better arrangement that doesn't get kind of, it'll get gross in here if you let those flowers just or the leaves just sit in water. So that's my next ones. I think I'm also going to want to include um, some Black Eyed Susans because those symbolize motivation and sometimes it's hard to get motivated um, when it comes to school but it's important to have that in mind and I um, want to include a little bit of that as well. I'm actually going to do three of those. 
And again, they're starting off pretty tall. I'm probably gonna trim these down in a minute, but I wanna wait till I have a few more flowers in there before I start trimming. Um, next up, I have these beautiful zinnias. I have a bunch of them. Zinnias are cool because they come in lots of different colors and they symbolize um, endurance because they bloom basically all year until it gets too cold, until it starts frosting on the ground. Um, and so they symbolize endurance, which I think is very appropriate. So I'm gonna strip some flowers off and I'm gonna go ahead and trim this one just because it's super tall to start. So I'm just gonna trim it off to about where I think I want it. Oh, maybe a little shorter, there we go. Ah, actually, that looks good, I like that. And so as I make my arrangement, I'm gonna be thinking of the person I'm making it for, thinking of the message I want them to get. Um, next, I think I'm gonna include this sage. It's beautiful. Another one um, that's an herb, but it symbolizes wisdom, which, come on, everybody needs some wisdom going to school, right? So I'm gonna get that in there um, and hope it perks up a little bit. Sometimes uh, they'll get a little sad when it's really hot outside. So if it doesn't perk up in the, in the nice cool water, I might just take that one out. Um, Cause I don't wanna send any, any sad, sad flowers in my arrangement. Um, and then next I'm gonna include my basil cause it does have some little flowers. It's another herb, but it symbolizes good wishes. Um, and I'm gonna trim off the lower leaves and get that one in there as well. Actually, I might trim the stem as well. All right. Okay, so I feel like I have a handful more flowers in here. I'm ready to start trimming some of my early ones. So I'm just gonna start cutting those down to the height that I like. Um, and in general, with arrangements, it's recommended that you kind of have um, taller stuff in the middle and then like, have it kind of arch shaped. But more important, I think, than anything like that is just be creative and have fun with it. Don't follow the rules too hard um, because who knows what your creativity, creativity, marigold, um, can make. trouble trimming this one. My shears aren't as sharp as they used to be so try to get some that are nice and sharp if you can. All right so that looks pretty good. It's a good start. Got a few good messages in there. Let's see next I think I might include um this is a snapdragon. I forgot to tell you what this one means, but snapdragons are about, they symbolize graciousness. So if you are um, wanting to include that message, snapdragons are a nice one to include for that. All right. And then I've got a handful more zinnias, so I think I'm gonna include those as well, because again, endurance, always good. Plus I love having all the different colors in a bouquet. I think it's really fun, an arrangement like this. And I actually should specify the difference. A bouquet and an arrangement are very different. An arrangement um, comes in a container like this, like a vessel, a vase. A bouquet would be kind of a standalone that you hold. So like at a wedding, um, bouquets are gonna be those kinds of flowers instead. All right, get these zinnias in here. And I think I do have another Black Eyed Susan. So I'm gonna try to throw that one in there too. And then I think I want some tall, something taller in the middle, another tall flower. So I think I'm gonna include my eucalyptus, right? Cause it's not only a fun, um, fun one that smells really good, but it symbolizes growth. And every school year, there's gonna be growth, right? Everything is gonna change a little bit. This year it might change a lot, but every year there's gonna be growth. Progression from one year to the next. Plus I like, I like how tall it is, I think it's nice. And let's see, I've got a couple of these Cosmos, which I think are really nice. They represent harmony, which is a good one. Everybody wants a harmonious school year, I would imagine. And then I've 
I've got one more zinnia that I definitely want to include in there. And I'm going to trim that. And then I think I'm a, I think I'm happy with my arrangement and the message I'm sending. Um, I've got a couple that might need to perk up, but that's okay. I'm going to trim some of these other ones down a little bit more until I get them right where I want them. And then I think I'll be good. So hopefully you have had time to think about who you want to make your arrangement for and what kind of message you want to send to them. It's a really fun project because it's the whole time you're making your arrangement, you can think about that person, um, think about what you want to say to them, and really reflect, reflect on that. Thank you so much for joining today for Junior Flowers Step Number Five, sending a, a message in flower code. So not only does it smell great, it's a beautiful arrangement that we've made for um, someone important to us. And so all the messages we've got, remember we've got our Black Eyed Susans for motivation. We've got a few of those. We've got zinnias for endurance to get through. Um, we've got our lavender for a nice calm, calm vibe and some eucalyptus for growth. We've also got our um, snapdragons for graciousness and our um, cosmos for harmony. And then the basil for good wishes, the sage um, for wisdom and our marigolds last but not least for creativity so thank you so much i hope you had fun and i hope you have found someone to make a nice arrangement for to send your message with thank you bye